Hello everyone and welcome again to basic Photoshop tutorials. Um, this week we're going to be doing texturing. Uh, texturing is crucial nowadays in uh, creating depth to your art and also to add a little bit more of professionalism to your Photoshop uh, creation. Uh, the best way to do it is, is a simple process of dragging textures off the web into your Photoshop art and I'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do is once you have your, your whatever it is you want to texture, so in this case I have a red square, you want to go ahead and open up your browser and choose the um, texture you want. Uh, in this case I use a website um, given to me by uh, Tutorial 9 and it just goes to Stock Exchange and there's a lot of uh, textures within this website. There's there's more than you really need if actually and then you just go ahead and choose the one you want in this case I'm choosing the old paper old style paper thing and you can also drag this into Photoshop or you can just right click copy and then paste it into Photoshop and that's what we'll do so once you have it copied right out of your browser close your browser open up Photoshop again and create a new layer and then just go to edit and paste so now we have our texture in Photoshop but we want the texture over top of our layer which is our red square so what we need to do now is to first of all change a bit of the settings uh, on our texture so we want to desaturate our texture so that the color of this texture is not overlaying or overlapping on the red so we want to make sure we have it desaturated so that's simply by selecting the texture layer going to image adjustments and desaturate okay so now that we have that done uh, we want to overlay the texture again this will get rid of the gray and it'll be on it'll look like it'll, it's on the red square so that's simply done by pulling down the menu in the layers box and just going to overlay okay so now the layer is over top of our texture however it is over top of this entire image so to get rid of the the rem remainder of this texture just control and left click on the uh, red square or whatever it is you want the um, texture to be on and then go ahead and go to select inverse and that selects the everything around the red box and then with the layer texture layer selected just hit delete okay and then you can hit control and D and that gets rid of your marquee so now that we have texture with you know on the red square here and it's nowhere else around it um, you can go ahead and edit some of the settings uh, I like to add a little bit of gradient settings to it um, again the best way to do it is to make sure you have your marquee around your red square or whatever it is you're working with so that it doesn't bleed onto the outside uh, anything around your object in this case the background so to do that uh, you can add some gradient you don't have to do this it just adds more effect create a new layer with your uh, red square selected with the marquee which is done by control and left click just go ahead and uh, choose a gradient using your gradient tool I have the um, what do they call it radial gradient and I have the black to transparent selection selected and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some and you just play around with this add some different effects to it and do whatever it is you'd like to it so there we go and then you can go ahead and just change some of the settings using your your opacity uh, bar. So there you go. That's pretty much it. Adding texture to your object. It, uh, it's a great effect. Um, let me pull something up here that I did earlier using a gradient effect. Here we are. We have like a background creation and I have some gradient over top of the the uh, background as you can see there. A little more in the background there. And it just adds a, a, a you know a lot of depth to your, your object. And uh, that's about it. So that's this week. And uh, just make sure you go ahead and rate, um, subscribe, and uh, comment. And I'll try to get to any of your questions. Uh, so thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you again.